Hello, my people. I see discussing portfolio theory, and today I'm going to look at the capital market line. When we say capital market, this is a market where you go to you go to to do or to source for fund. The source for fund there, it pushes your securities there, and where companies approach to do what to raise fund. It can be in terms of equity. The venture and so on. So that is the capital market. The companies go there to do or to raise fund. Likewise, if the companies are going there to do or to raise fund, on the other side of it, somebody should be able to do or to provide this uh, uh, resources in which the company is going to make use of. Now, what is the capital market line talking about? The capital market line is a set of risk return combinations that are available by combining the market portfolio with risk free borrowing and lending. What am I talking about? You say the capital market line is a set of risk return combinations. Definitely, for any set of what investment. There will be risk, there will be return attached to do what to such investment. All I'm saying that what basically what we are considering in portfolio theory is what to, is risk is uh, risk and return. Now, if you have different sets of what investment, different sets of securities in which you want to do what you want to invest on, you have now combined these securities into different portfolios. So Mark here we have said a portfolio is a set of what? The collection of investments which make the total holdings of an investor. So you have made series of combination in a particular portfolio you have like two investments, two different investments there. You create portfolio A, portfolio B, portfolio C, portfolio D, all and all like that. So in this in each of this portfolio, you have series of what investment in the portfolio. So you're not looking at the which portfolio give you gives you what the best combination. The best combination in terms of which portfolio give me the highest return with the lowest risk. Such a portfolio is called what to the efficient portfolio. So when you now draw your market line. So any 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 such of what this combination that falls above this are the one that set of what portfolio that are going to give us uh, the best the best possible combinations. So the capital capital market line is a set of risk return combination that are available by combining market portfolio with risk free borrowing and lending. The capital market line divides the relationship between risk and return. For efficient portfolio, we have tends to do what to analyze to discuss what we mean by an efficient portfolio. An efficient portfolio is a portfolio that gives us the highest return with, with the lowest risk of uh, for efficient portfolio of risky securities. It specifies the efficient set of portfolio that an investor can obtain by combining the portfolio which contain risk with a risk-free asset. The capital market lines informs us that a given level of risk, an investor should expect a given level of return from the stock exchange. At least, if you are to do or to achieve this type of worth return, you should also be expecting to do what to, this is a risk attached to such uh, a return. So that is what. Uh, so that's what we're talking about. So in a, in a simple term, we are trying to do what to look at the best combination of portfolio, best the best out of the, the best portfolio after you have combined your investment in different portfolios. You now look at which portfolio give more give us what the 
uh, the highest return, which you now call what the efficient portfolio. So how do we now determine which portfolio to now quantify it? How do we now determine uh, the efficient portfolio? So use this formula by for calculating the efficient portfolio, which is what high F RF plus open a bracket RM minus RF multiplied by SD standard deviation of portfolio. So standard deviation of the portfolio we are considering. So we are trying to appraise is after so okay is after you have analyzed each of this portfolio each of the portfolio you have combined from there you to know what to know which one is the efficient portfolio so use this formula to do what to to to, 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 to appraise each of the portfolio you have so at the end of the day you to do what to compare and contrast to compare uh, the portfolio and we to do what and then we will to do what to choose the one that gives us the highest return and lowest. Uh, so we we'll want to see. So at the lowest risk, we we'll want to see. So all about the sign relation on the market. That is uh, the uh, market under consideration, the investment under consideration. So, so where RF is equal to risk-free rates, this RF that I'm talking about is what risk-free rates. There will be a rate given to or there will be a rate in the market which is what which is the risk free rate. So as a rate in the, the risk free rate is just most especially is the government rate. Uh -huh. So government bond, the rate on uh, government bond is the risk free rate, rate of the venture is the risk free rate, is, which is cannot uh, run trade. So we are having that rate to secure it. Cannot receive anything below that. So that's the risk free rate. Usually the government uh, government rates. So RF return on market portfolio. Return on market portfolio. This RF is what return on market portfolio as the standard deviation of the portfolio. So standard deviation of the portfolio, the portfolio in which we are talking about is the portfolio that of the investment under consideration. But SM is what standard deviation of return on the portfolio. Standard deviation of the return. On the so side emission on the returns on the portfolio. So that is uh, that that is our SF. So side emission on the return of what on the uh, market portfolio. So from there, that is the formula to use to do what to compute your efficient portfolio. So at the end of the day, you're able to receive to see which portfolio gives us the uh, optimal. A solution which is now turns as well as the efficient portfolio. So at this junction, that is what basically what we call the market and the capital market line is a combination of series of what of this uh, of series of uh, portfolio with a uh, risk for but so we want to do or to analyze and we want to determine the efficient portfolio to choose. So in order to do for you to do or to maximize your return and minimize your uh, your risk. At this auction, this is what we know now, this is what is called like the capital market line. Thank you for listening and God bless.